You guessed it, we're going to look at Urban Outfitters today, plus a few of our open trades. Stick around. Hi, this is Tim from Trading Strategy Guides. Hope you guys have had a great week. We've got a really nice looking trading range on Urban Outfitters that checks off all the boxes. We'll look at that, plus some updates on our trades. And if you hang out to the end, you'll get a brand new trading maxim. Remember, you can speed this video up by clicking the gear icon in the lower right of the video and selecting a new speed. Let's take a look at our open trades. Ugh. Tesla gapped down to here yesterday, took my stop out on bad earnings news. It opened right at 233.50, so that's where my trade was closed. This is the downside of our strategy. Second half closed for $6.33, even though we had it locked in at 246.25, and I was actually going to move it up a little bit. Anyway, can't worry about it once it's over, right? Just have to move on. Done with Tesla for now. Total profit on our $100,000 account on this one is $1,406. Euro Yen finally hit our target right here on Wednesday. Then it popped up yesterday and took out our break-even stop. So I'm done with the Euro Yen for now. Total profit on this one, $843. So I guess yesterday was our day of popping and hitting stops. Uh, this is Canopy Growth Corp, and uh, this popped up and caught our stop by just a few cents here. So we had this uh, at 36.25, which locked in 84 cents. So we're also done with Canopy right here. Uh, total profit on this one was $1,272. Okay, Kraft Heinz dropped back to the range, but did not close inside the range. Closed just above it. I'm not going to give this a whole lot more leeway. It appears that the momentum is gone, but let's let's see. Today is looking a little promising, so let's just see what it does today before we make a final decision on this one. And lastly, Capco Industries closed barely above the triangle right here, did not break above this close right here. So I went half size on this because it's looking a little wimpy. We got volume on the break, uh, just barely average volume. So I'm in this half size. My entry is 163.02. The ATR was $4.92, so the first target 167.94, and the stop loss is 155.64. Okay, let's take a look at Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters is a lifestyle retail corporation headquartered in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It operates in the U.S., the U.K., Europe, Israel, and Pakistan. They specialize in clothing, clothing accessories, beauty products, housewares, and music. Apparently, it's very popular with the millennial generation. I hear my kids talking about it once in a while. I've never entered one, but I'm old, so there is that. Urban Outfitters trades as URBN on the NASDAQ and is a component of the S&P 400. Thanks once again to our subscriber, Sim Benji, for pointing this setup out. Appreciate it. I love it when you guys notice this stuff. This is a very nice trading range between 22.25 and 24.25. Uh, I like it because it checks off all the boxes without question. It's been in place for a couple of months now. There are several touches on each side of the range. A couple here, a couple here, a couple here. Four positive touches here. These come close. Remember, a line is never just a line. It's always a zone. The bottom support level here is a wide zone. You can tell the traders are bored with this because of this nice drop in volume. The volume average is dropping off as well. And the volatility is dropping off. You guys who have watched a few of my videos know that I like to watch for volume drops. I also like to watch the ATR, or average true range, which tells us an average of the size of the last 14 candles. And you can see that this has dropped off during the course of this pattern, and this has dropped off during the course of this pattern. So that's a good indication that 
we're in this trading pattern and fewer and fewer traders are paying attention to it. They're bored with it. They want to move on before they think any more about urban outfitters. So what happens when that happens is when we get a break outside of this trading range, it's going to be explosive because a whole lot of traders are watching it and are going to jump on board when they see it jump on the outside. So the setup is simple. We will buy a daily close above the range. So when we get a close above 24.25, we'll buy it or we'll sell a daily close below the range. So if we get a close below 22.25, we'll sell it. We want to see at least average volume on the breaking candle. So when this thing breaks and closes outside, we want to make sure that the volume bar comes to or above the average right here. If you've got at least 75% of the average volume, you can open a half size position to reduce risk. So you can calculate 75% of the average volume by dividing this number by this number on a calculator and you should get at least 0.75 as the result. 0.75. I don't draw too well with the mouse, do I? <laughs> if we don't get that, no trade. Stay out of it. Watch it. Uh, if you, the volume comes on the next candle and it hasn't moved too far away from the range, consider entering it there. Your stop loss will be one and a half times the ATR and your target will be one times the ATR. So when this breaks out, you look at the breaking candle. You come down here and you see what the average true range is for the breaking candle. You multiply this by one and a half and you either add it or subtract it to get it behind your trade by that amount. That will be your stop loss. And of course, one ATR ahead of your trade will be your first target. Now, if after entering trade, we get a candle that closes back inside the range, so let's say this popped down here and it closed right down here and we entered it short. And let's see a couple of candles later, we got to close back inside the range right here. Close the trade. Even if it hasn't hit your stop, there's no reason to hold it for the stop because our intention is that the breakout of these patterns should be explosive and hit our target fairly quickly. If the momentum goes away, we want to shut the trade down without taking a full stop if possible. So we win by winning, we also win by not losing, and we also win by not losing as much as we initially were willing to lose. When the price hits our first target, we'll close half the position for profit and set the stop loss to break even on the remainder. We will then follow stops as price moves in our direction until the market takes us out. Now, obviously, you can trade this however you want to. I'm, I'm not your mama. <laughs> I'm just telling you how I handle these trades. If you want more details about that, look below this video. I will leave a link for the trade management video, which will explain the details. And that's our Urban Outfitters trade for today. Keep your eyes on this one. I watch these every day near closing, just ahead of the closing, actually, uh, so that I can get my order in before the market closes. Okay, let's look at today's trading maxim. According to the dictionary, a maxim is a general truth, a fundamental principle, or a rule of conduct, or sometimes just a proverbial saying. My maxims come from various sources, including my reading, the internet, or suggestions from friends, coaches, teachers, or other acquaintances. I'll add a new maxim to my list whenever I find something special. I hope they help you as much as they've helped me. I suggest you start your own list of maxims to help in your trading. Things that you can say to yourself while you're trading to make sure you always do the right thing. Feel free to borrow from my list. One day maybe I'll put them in an ebook. And today we're going to do another brand new maxim. I've been finding them right and left here. Tim's trading maxim number 53. Work is doing it. Discipline is doing it every day. Diligence is doing it well every day. Well, this quote comes from Dave Ramsey, and he's a fairly well-known financial advisor. If you're not familiar with him, you might want to Google him. He's got some really wise things to say about personal finances. And I think this quote is fairly self-explanatory. Be sure to use diligence in testing your strategy, 
in finding strategies that work for you, in following your trading rules, all of those things. Put in the work, use discipline, but especially use diligence. And remember our trade plan? We're looking for a daily close above the range to buy or a daily close below the range to sell Urban Outfitters. If the volume is not quite average, go half size as long as it's at least 75% of the average. Your stop loss is one and a half times the ATR, and your first target is one times the ATR. And remember to check out the trade management video for more details. The link will be below. And if you don't have time to analyze charts, this will be cool. Trading Strategy Guides has the Strike Trader Elite Trade Signal service. You'll get 4x trade signals on a dozen or so pairs on several different time frames, all based on the Strike Trader Elite system. Look below the video for a link to the free signals on the Telegraph application. I'll also post a link to my video that explains the Strike Trader Elite system. And be sure to come back to Trading Strategy Guides YouTube channel every week on Monday and Friday for my analysis videos and Wednesday morning for my training webinar. And check out the blog for great trading strategies. I'll put the link below. Also, follow me on Twitter. If things happen in between the videos, I'll post them there. I'll put my Twitter link below. Tell your friends about us and help us make this the best trading channel on the internet. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up below. Have an awesome weekend, and I will see you next week.